Hello, good day guys, it's Viper Lodi here and in this video, we're going to be solving or giving a solution to this particular question here. So, this question says, the question is going to be typed in the description on YouTube or whichever platform you're checking this out on. But, I'm going to just run through it so you can understand what we are doing here actually. So, they said, Just Try Supermarket Management decided to run a promotional discount for their customers who purchase goods worth certain amounts. Then you are contacted to write a program to this effect. Using C program, write a program with the following set of instructions. So from the very first part of this instruction to the fifth, sorry, to the sixth part of this instruction, it's for you to design a calculator that does something based on the amount of goods an individual purchases. So from here we have I think from five thousand era to ten thousand era, then ten thousand and one era to fifteen thousand era, then fifty thousand and one to twenty k then. 20k and above so it's more like the promotion it's more like giving out a discount based on the amount of goods or the amount spent on a good by a customer so what we are going to be doing here is to write a program that is going to calculate for every value of for every range of values that a user can purchase goods on and then the calculator is going to what, calculate the discount on that particular product and then give the user back the value that they are going to pay in. So it says here first, okay, if a negative value is entered for the total amount, the program should display invalid amounts, blah, blah, blah. So let's get started. So first up, what we want to do here is what? We want to ask the user to what? enter the amount of goods he purchased. So you are going to be doing what? Sorry. I'm going to be doing print effort. Enter the amount of what goods purchased then a four slash n so you want to collect the value using scanf and okay yeah the values are going to be of integer data type so return zero is going to be here so it's going to be of integer data type because they are specifying from here as 5000 5001 10000 10, there's no decimal with the value of in the value of purchase so yeah you're going to be in percent d and then what amount but there must be an ampersand before it so before now, i was also declare my amount as an integer data type to tell my compiler that amount is an integer data type at the beginning of my code so here is going to just run the program to tell them to enter the amount and here we're going to collect the value for the amount i entered so now for value one now decide what if a negative value is entered for the total amount of goods purchased, the program should display invalid amount. Please enter a valid amount. So this program is just a basic if else statement. I'm going to be running multiple if else statements so that the computer can make decisions based on what different scenarios. Meaning when is greater than or equal to something, when is less than or equal to something, when is within a range of numbers, then it should return certain amount of discounts. When is within a particular set of numbers also it should give maybe a little or a larger amount of discount compared to when the number is in another range so that is what this program is about a decision making program that is going to decide the amount of discount a user is entitled to depending on the purchase it makes so yeah first up we're going to be doing what if a negative value is entered for the total amount of goods purchased the program should display invalid amount please enter a valid amount so for negative numbers, what are negative numbers? Number, negative numbers are numbers that are what? Less than zero. So if a number is less than zero, I mean, so you can have minus one, you can have negative four, negative six, negative 100, you know. Negative, sorry, numbers that are negative are what? Numbers less than zero. So you are going to be writing an if statement to tell the computer that, okay, fine. If the user enters a what number, I mean, if amount, if the value in amount is less than zero then it should what print and tell the person that what invalid please enter a valid amount so that's what we're going to be printing here please enter a valid amount as what is here so if you want to run this code now test it we'll be running this line by line as we are running as we are doing it so testing and running this program Decide we should enter the amount of goods purchased. So let me put minus one. As you can see, it said invalid. Please enter a valid amount. 
So that is for the first check. What is the amount entered by the user greater than zero? So we are going to run this remaining part of the program to return the amount of discounts the user is entitled to. So second here we have if the total amount of goods purchased is less than five thousand, then the program should say you are not eligible for discount at this time and it should display what the total amount purchased. So if the total amount of goods is less than five thousand, we are going to write in an LC statement telling the program that what okay if amount is what less than five thousand meaning from zero up until four nine 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 then what it should tell the user that what the user is ineligible sorry where is it let me just copy it here so you should tell the user that the user is what not eligible for discount at this time and it should also what print out the total amount purchased then let me just put space what colon and percent d and amount so once we printing out the amount this person spent also so running this now for this particular check so rather than putting any value done but let me put um 4300 here so he said what we are not eligible for the discount at this time and it also printed 4300 to my screen as you can see it here so what if the number now is greater than 5000 so we are going to definitely have another check on in this condition so jumping to number three now we have what if the total amount of good purchase is between five thousand and ten thousand capture that word between five thousand and ten thousand so between means what five thousand and ten thousand are both inclusive in this set five thousand and ten thousand are both inclusive in this set so it's not like i'm going to be doing from five thousand and one to nine 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 i don't like i'm going to be doing from five thousand to nine 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 or from 5001 to 10001 it is from 5000 to 10000 since they said what if the total amount of goods purchased is between meaning starting from 5000 and ends at what 10000 so from here i'm going to be writing an if else condition for this range of numbers too so they said if the total amount of goods purchased is between 5000 and 10000 the program should calculate a 5% discount and display the final amount to be paid after the discount has been deducted from the total amount. So what I want to do here is first up, we get what to know the range of the amount of goods purchased. So if the person purchases a good of five thousand naira or seven thousand naira or eight thousand naira, then the program is going to what run a five percent discount on the price. It's not just running a five percent discount on five thousand naira or ten thousand naira. It's going to run a five percent discount on the price so if the price is 5600 naira then our program is going to what, calculate a 5 percent discount on 5600 naira and then what once the discount is calculated it will now be deducted from what the initial price which is the total amount and then the final amount is now going to be returned to the person as the price they are going to pay just like assuming jimmy is selling a shoe for like 7000 naira and they're giving you 10 percent discount so calculating, let's say Jumia says, okay, from 5,000 Naira to 10,000 Naira, the user is entitled to 10% discount. Are you listening? So now we have 7,000 Naira worth of shoe, and you want to purchase it. So because your shoe worth is around this value, 5,000 to 10,000 Naira, Jumia says you want to give you 10,000, 10% discount, sorry. So calculating a 10% discount on 7,000 Naira shoe is 700 Naira. So after you get the 700 Naira as the discount that the user is entitled to, that 700 naira will be deducted from what the amount you are, you are using to purchase the goods, which is 7k. So if 7,000 naira is deducted from 7k, then Ms. Jumia is going to be go, going to allow you to pay 6,300 naira for the goods, which is going to be the what final amount you are going to pay. So that's what we're going to do here. If the price of the user is between 5 to 10,000 naira, we're going to calculate a 5% discount based on the price, and then subtract it from the price that going to buy the goods for and they will return them the amount they are going to pay for the goods by deducting this discounted price this discount amount from the initial price so from here on to do what tell the program that what else if what amount is greater than or equal to five thousand and at the same time amount is what less than or equal to ten thousand so meaning if it is in the range of so this program is telling our computer that if the amount is in the range of what 5,000 to what 10,000, then we we'll want to calculate a discount of what 5%. So you are going to see what 
int discount int discount is equal to what five percent which is five divided by hundred then times what the initial price which is amount so this is going to be our value for discount so afterwards we now want to do it subtract this discount from the amount to get our final price that the person is going to pay so final price final underscore price just to give it the name of a variable let me do let me do float because our discount can be in decimal points can be decimal pointed imagine someone is buying a good sort of this amount and best is having like 750.50 something like that so it might be decimal pointed pointed it might be so let's just use float to be more safe so let's name our variable final price it will not be equal to what the amount which is the initial amount the person wants to buy minus what discount so this is going to now return to the person how much you're going to pay so here already said our program said we should what we should print out display the final amount to be paid after the discount have been deducted so yeah we now want to what, print f to the screen and tell them to what you will be paying then let's now write the value which is percent f come out the final price so let's try to test this in now so if you want to do this mathematically let's say we are going to be purchasing a good water win let's just say 7000 euro 5% discount of 7000 euro is going to be 350 so subtracting 350 from 7000 euro is going to give us 6650 so let's try to run this program and see if we get that answer so discount is also going to be a float data type before running it discount is going to be a float data type because if you calculate this it might also end up giving you decimal point just like the way i said for final price so for year two we want to make sure that our code doesn't run error because if i try to run this now using 5 over 100 sorry we use 5 over 100 year then multiply by 1000 so the computer is basically going to be doing 5 divided by 1000 times amount let's try to run it first and i'm sure there'll be error in this program so let's use 7000 as you can see we're having 7000 and we're expecting to see something like 6650 so what we're going to do here is we're going to simplify this 5 divided by 1000 is um, 0.05 so for 5 percent discount it's basically 0.05 times the amount or you can just do 5 times the amount then divide by 100 that one is actually more better so running this now is going to run um so amount of good purchase 7000 euro so now they said it here that what you'll be paying what 6,615 euro because they removed the 5 percent discount based on me buying a good worth of 5,000 euro to 10,000 euro so now let's go to the third sorry to the fourth condition they said what if the amount purchased is between 1,001 to 15,000 euro then what the program should calculate 7.5 percent discount and display the same thing so something like that so for you want to write an else if statement want to write an else if statement for what if amount is what greater than or equal to 5001 sorry 10001 and what if amount is less than or equal to 15000 i guess yeah 15000 so you also want to what calculate the discount discounts so our float discount is equal to what zero point yeah it's 75 percent so that would be 0 0.75 multiplied by amount that would be my discount and then also on to what calculate the final price let me just do this calculate final price yeah which is amount minus discount so i'll also be printing what the amount will be paying so this is a 7.5 percent discount so let's try to run this now for um let's say 12,000 euro so for me to pay 12,000 euro to the system how much is my discount so i'll be paying 3,000 euro oh this is definitely not so sorry i made mistake with the discounts it's not meant to be 0 0.75 it's meant to be 0 0.075 so that's why it was calculating a 75 percent discount on the product instead of 7.5 so 7.5 is basically 
zero point zero seven five because if you do this divided by if you do this multiply it by hundred then we're going to be having seven point five. So running this program now is going to give us what we want. So let me try to test thirteen thousand naira as worth of goods. So yeah, the user is expected to pay twelve thousand and twenty five naira, having a discount of almost one thousand naira. That is seven point five percent of what they initially bought. So now what if the person is now buying a good worth more than fifteen thousand naira? Then go to the what fifth condition. They said if the total amount purchased is what fifteen thousand and one to twenty thousand naira, then they should take a what ten percent discount. So let me just copy these lines of code here, just to extend things up. And what another else if here, which is going to run for if the amount is greater than or equal to fifteen thousand and one. Sorry, fifteen thousand and one. Sorry, yeah, fifteen thousand and one. And if the amount is still what's less than or equal to what's twenty thousand, right? Yeah. So anything inside of this will run. So let's put this now. So you want to calculate the discount on what's one ten percent. So ten percent is basically ten divided by hundred, which is zero point one. So I'll be cleaning this off now and putting zero point one multiplied by the amount, which is my discount. And then the final price is going to be what the initial amount minus this discount here. So I want to be printing the final price to my screen. So running this now, let's do for seventeen thousand naira. So if you want to buy a good worth of seventeen thousand naira, and you want to be giving ten percent off, it means I'm going to be saving one thousand seven hundred naira. So if I save one thousand seven hundred naira, then it means you are going to be paying that should be like fifteen thousand. Um, I don't know or sixteen thousand something. So running this now, I'm paying fifteen thousand. 300 because your 10 percent discount has been removed so if you add the 1700 to this 15300 you're going to see that this one seven is your initial price you paid without a discount so that is for the what if the good is within 15,001 to what 20,000 euro so now for the last condition they say what any amount of good is above 20,000 euro the program should calculate a 12.5 percent discount and display the final amount to be paid after the discount has been adopted yeah, so you are going to also write another word, else if, or you can just write it as an else statement. We are going to be telling the com computer that what, if what amount is greater than 20,000 euro. So then what if you what, let's print the same thing that we printed. Discount should be what, instead of 10% or 0. Point, instead of 10% or 7.5%, I think what, 12.5%. So 12.5% then is basically 0. 0.125. So that is what, 0. Point one to five multiplied by the amount as discount and the final price is going to be what the amount minus the discount they are going to be printing out how much they are going to be paying which is the final price so if i want to run this now again for the last condition so let's say we're going to buy good what of what thirty thousand naira. so thirty thousand naira. if you want to buy good thirty thousand naira, i'll be giving a 12 percent discount sorry 12.5 percent discount then you should be paying about 26,215 euro. So if I press enter now, I are saying yes, the code ran successfully. And he said the best thing you'll be paying what 26,215 euro because of what you are purchasing the amount more greater than 30,000 euro. And the reward is the what 12 percent, 12.5 percent discount. So that is all for this episode, guys. I hope you understand and clearly knew everything that we went through in this video. So um, let me just try to test run this before I round up. So everything from here means here we initialized the amount as an integer variable because your price is going to be an amount from 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 10,001. They are all integers. Then we also have printed the screen to tell the person to enter the amount of goods they purchased. Then we work, collected the value for the amount. And now we ran various if else condition to check for the discount if the person is eligible for discount and if the person is not eligible for discount the computer should calculate the discount and tell them how much they have to pay so if the amount is less than zero meaning for negative prices that will be entered by the user the computer should tell them that what you should enter a valid amount that it's invalid so if the number is not greater than zero which is not a negative number and the number is less than five thousand euro meaning that if they're buying good words of less than five thousand euro then the computer should tell them they are not eligible for the discount then if the no if the amount is now greater than 55,000 naira this time but it's less than 10,000 naira or equal to 10,000 naira if it's greater than or equal to 5k 
and it's less than or equal to 10k meaning within range of 5000 to 10000 then you get to what calculate a five percent discount and return it to the person then if the if the amount spent by the user is greater than or equal to 10000 euro and is less than or equal to 15k then you should calculate a 7.5 percent discount and if it's greater than or equal to 50,001 euro and it's less than 20,000 euro then you should give them a whooping 10 percent discount and if it's if the total amount of goods purchased is greater than 20,000 euro then the person is to get rewarded of 12.5 percent so we calculate discount as what 12.5 which is 0 0.125 multiplied by the initial amount and they what tell the final price to be what the initial price minus what the discounted price then we are going to be what pointing it to the screen for the person so that is all for today's video guys do not forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video if you found it really helpful thank you guys for watching see you next time